So now we have to implement these two features that is when the user click on this first option then we will send the user to his or her phone gallery in order to pick any video file and up for in order to upload you know in this app and the second option is to allow the user to make video or you can say capture video with phone camera and then upload that uh, captured video which the user make using his, his or her phone camera so these two things are simple just like uh, you know just like the image picker we have the same code for it what we need to do is little bit of course it is different okay so anyways what we can do now is uh, above here the display dialog box we can implement a method and we will just give it name as get video get video file you can say and this method will be a reusable method that is for these two uh, features that is get video from phone gallery and make video with phone camera so to this method uh, it will basically receive the image source that is the image source simply means that what the user is going to do the, the user has clicked this option or this option that is from gallery or the camera so that source basically it means okay and let's give it name as source and it will be a synchronous method so what we can do is we can just say wait using the image picker we can also pick video or capture video with phone camera okay image picker provides this feature so we can say image picker dot pick video this one pick video and the source will be let's give it a little bit different name so that we can recognize it okay source image we can say so we can say source image so whatever the source is that is let's say the user want to pick from the gallery or with phone camera the user want to capture the video so that thing we have to pass here okay so what it will do it will just uh, execute according to that if the user pick want to pick a video file from the phone gallery then it will perform that feature otherwise if the user click the second option that is to capture video with phone camera then it will execute according to that that it will start making a video and we will assign this to a variable we can say video file so that video will be assigned to this video file and then we can check that is if if the video file is not equals to null that is if we have the video okay if the video is captured successfully or if the user if the video is picked successfully from the user phone gallery and in that case what we want to do we will just send the user to the new screen and that screen will be basically let me write here you can say video confirmation screen that is it will start playing that video which the user picked or which the user make with phone camera and of course we will have a upload form so you can say video upload form okay that will be the exact correct word for it video upload form so let's just quickly make this that screen right click on upload video new and we can create a new dot file let's give it name as upload underscore form upload form so this is our upload form let us give it name as upload form now come back here and we can just say upload form and to this upload form screen we will basically pass uh, two parameters that is the first thing is this video file we have to pass to it make sure to put a comma here okay like this so this video file we will pass uh, using a key so the key name for that will be let's pass it by the same key name we can just say video file colon and then this video file so we can say this one okay dot io dot io not the dot html dot io so we can say file and then that 
video file dot path the path of this video which the user pick from phone gallery or you can say which the user make with phone camera so that video file path we will pass as a parameter to our this to our this upload form okay by the key name video file so basically when we say file video file dot path then it simply means that the file which is available at this path as you know whenever we make a um, start recording a video or when we pick and file from our phone that is from our gallery then it, there is a you know temporary path which is basically a reference to that specific video file or image file or any document you know any file it can be anyone so what we say here that we need that file which is available at this path so the file which is at this path we just get that file okay so we want to get that file that's why we say video file and then next thing that we want to pass is basically the path only you know like let me just write here it will be the video path and of course that is only the path not the file only the path we want so we just say video file dot path and you know that when i say file it is basically that file with the user pick from phone gallery okay that video file or that video file which the user make with his with his or her phone camera okay and then the part to it alongside with it we are also passing to this upload form so we have to receive these two things on our upload form so how we can receive we can receive it by the same key names okay by the same these key names for example for receiving video file we can come here and we can just say you know final file as it is file dot io okay this one dot io and by the same key name which is video file so that's why video file then the second thing is the path the video path which is basically a string path or you can say a reference so you can say a final string type video path and then of course in the constructor just remove this in the constructor of upload form we can say this dot video file first we receive the video file and then we receive alongside with it we receive the video path like this okay and both of these things are required here that is we must receive these things here on our upload form so make sure to add required keyword with it so yeah that's it now come back here and if you see this red line alongside with it you need to just rewrite it again that is upload form okay which is basically it will import this upload form dot dot here at the top as you can see so anyways this was our method for recording a video file video for recording a video or to pick a video file from phone gallery okay both things it will perform so we have to just call it for example now when we call this get video file method let's say when the user click on it so our first one button is this one which is get video from phone gallery when the user click on it then the source in that case will be image source dot gallery that is in this case if the user click on it in this case the user want to pick a video file from his phone his or her phone gallery then the next one is the next option is make video with phone camera so if the user tap on this one if the user click on this option the second option the image source will be camera that is the user want to record a video with his or her phone camera now let us test the app to see if it is working or not so now when I click on the upload new video I see the dialog box if I click the first option which is get video from phone gallery then it will send me to the phone gallery as you can see and it show me the videos from my gallery now let's check the second option which is make video with phone camera so if I tap on it then it will you know open up the phone camera that is it you know it is the video player that is in order to record a video so it allows us to record a video so for example I can record a video okay 
just like you see in the introduction introductory video of this course okay so let's I record this video I will just stop and you see that okay so now it recorded this video you can of course verify it by playing it here just like you see in the introduction introductory video I hope you can hear okay. my so voice I alongside video, with the video so once you do that you can just click on OK and it will just select that you know it will just pick that video and it will come here let me show to you guys the code it will just get that video which we recorded okay as you know the source was camera as we click on the second option so it get the recorded video it assigned it to this video file as the video was not null as it was a recorded uh, complete video that is it was correct video so that's why it send us directly to the upload form after successful recording it send us to this is the upload form okay that is alongside with it it send the video file and the video path as a parameter to our upload form so it is receiving here and for now as you know we are just displaying the placeholder which you see here on your with your eyes okay so of course in the next video we will complete this upload form